but see what we can get i've been on the marbles it's hot um but i'm happy for the day man i found one of the nicest indian artifacts this morning whoo talk about a good one and heck i think i walked right over the bank i can never navigate that right i'm right where i want to be i've missed it by 50 yards the last few times um i came out at the right spot there thank goodness i don't have to walk through all that crap down there but man check out my video earlier today well it'll be probably yesterday i'll probably put this on the next day um man did i find a nice indian artifact yesterday um, see if i see that i left a plastic figure here yesterday i found a little mark figure it's here someplace it wasn't that nice huh i don't know where i said it i'll have to look for a minute but i didn't film it and see there's some jars and stuff i left but i'm gonna get busy i'm gonna get my glove on and we've been digging some nice marbles in here some valuable ones some just as good as you could ask for big variety of old ones there's a bunch of them thrown away in here. I got a bunch of cave-ins, but I'm gonna rake through this stuff meticulously. But we're gonna see what we can get. And we're gonna try to get a video together. Um, I appreciate you watching, and I'll get back on my first YouTube phone later. Um, digging out this cave-in, I see a little red marble. Um, right here. And it's way smaller than average size. Um, let me leave it off here. We're on the board already within five minutes. It's a nice one. It's like a ruby color and it's got lighter patch on it there. That's not bad. The condition's beautiful. See, you can't complain. I got a lot of work to do today. I doubt I find as much stuff just because I got to get all this out so I can go under it. I shouldn't have pulled this back, but I didn't know these marbles were here. They're probably down the hill, and I don't want to mess any with overburden. While that's not that piled up, I'm going to have to get it out of here, and that's a couple truckloads of dirt. I'll get back on my next I just raked out another one. You can see I got a lot of this cleaned out. There's marbles all over the place in here, but I'm at kind of, I'm down in these tree roots. I got a lot of cutting and work to do, but right here's one. I don't know if this is a cat eye or what. Huh. Looks different than a cat eye might be a cat eye there but it's nice condition so we're on the board with another one later see another green cat eye just like that last one there's marbles everywhere in here see that's another one that's nice condition but you know that's the least desirable stuff i'm looking for here i'm looking for them alley swirls and stuff hopefully we can find some more of that stuff today here's another one right here it's a red and white one Oh, folks, this is an acro corkscrew. Oh, right. I wasn't out of the good ones. They're going up the base clay up this hill. The only problem is I have this here, and I'm going to be, I have to cut all of this out by hand. I can't get an axe in here. But all right. This is an acro agate from Clarksburg, West Virginia. And, you know, I'd say this is from the 1930s. Look. It's called a corkscrew because see how the swirl swirls around the marble like a corkscrew? See it? You can look up the information online. I'll maybe put a little bit of information, just a little bit, um, and show some other examples of this after this find. But that's a beautiful marble. It's beautiful. <laughs> This is probably some kind of little cracker jack prize. It's a real tiny harmonica or whistle. 
it's a shame it's got a piece broke off of it there but look at that right in around them marbles there's all kind probably all kinds of little trinkets and stuff in here that's pretty cool that's pretty cool great well I took that stuff over and put it the acro and that little harmonic in my pocket of my coat come back here and took maybe five rakes and do you see the marble it looks like another one of them real pretty orange cat eyes it's right here raking this stuff out you see how I'm getting it down to this fine material and I see the marbles right away yep look at that yeah that that's got like that might be a peltier a peltier cat eye it's got that look to it that veneer on the outside that's pretty nice that's beautiful it's real nice condition um you can see it there wow that's pretty cool i think i just got a german handmade marble i can't tell i already picked it up but it's dirty i think it is just hold on and let me get this cleaned off this is worth the whole trip right here it looks like a peppermint swirl hold on let me look at it later well after the drill this morning and you start finding marbles like this panels on both ends it's handmade it's german it's like pre-1900 it's a smoker look at it pink they call these peppermint swirls i'm pretty sure but that's german handmade that's a beauty folks I am just killing it. It has a little bit of play wear, but not much. That's awesome. And it's little. I've never seen one that small. Oh, right. That's a day maker. Well, I know where the marbles are going now. They're going up the hill. They're just kind of like a cache of points falling out of the bank at the river. They were probably, I'm probably going to get into some concentrations of them farther up but i don't know what i'm going to do about this tree but i got another one and it looks really nice i already picked it up it's one of these lime green ones but it's got a big brown patch on it i'll give you a sneak peek here real quick oh man look at this thing oh this is a beauty and you know i don't have one like this oh look at that look at that let me get this cleaned off hold on well this is another day maker you know this is worth the whole trip up here there's no damage to it that strip there right at the tip of my thumb is clear base you can see all the way into the marble and then it looks like wood grain on it wow this is nice i've never seen anything like this it's just absolutely beautiful it might the way that patch is on there, it might be a peltier, but I'm not positive. It's awfully nice. Man, folks, I'm on fire again. Well, I'm on them. I mean, I am on them again. They're up in these roots, going right up that hill. The, I'm hitting the base clay down in there, but the layer goes like that. So I'm going to have to follow it up through there, and it's going to be a lot of digging. But man, if this one ain't messed up, do you see it? I'll keep it here a second, see if you can spot the marble. It looks amazing, folks. From what I can see, I haven't touched it. This is just how I just saw it. It's right here. Oh, folks, look it. Let me give you a sneak peek here. Oh, folks. I think this is another. It is, that's pawned. That's a handmade German marble. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Pawnal marks on both ends. It's a handmade German marble. That's, oh, fix. this is nice condition too. You know, that ain't damaged. Those are pawnals. This is a handmade one. Oh, fix. this is nice. Look at those tight lines. They were made out of rods of glass. Man, too, oh, this is, that's something else. Man, folks, I'm on fire today. hill i'm gonna have to get some of this stuff out you can see i cut a bunch of them roots out it took me an hour 
have to lay down in here but here's another one of these green ones I'm, they're all coming right out of the back these green ones are man that ain't no cat eye I don't hold on this is nice this is real nice it looks peltierish but it I don't know that's nuts that's no cat eye look at that let me wipe this off hold on that kind of looks peltierish early peltier but I don't know I'm no expert but that's awesome that's awesome later I hate to keep showing this stuff, but every one that comes out is nicer than the last one. That looks brand new. Up under this tree, bottled by the Coca-Cola Balling Works, Incorporated, Sistersville, West Virginia, ACL Magic Valley Soda with the Coke plant right on the bottle. Perfect condition. We're taking it. Man, folks. All right, this is some kind of real old button. I can't tell if it's got anything on it, but you can see the back here. That's old, whatever it is. I can't, it's, it was all corroded. I've been rubbing it there on my pants. R found it raking this stuff back up out. I'm looking through this stuff meticulously today. I got a bunch of digging to do there. I don't know, maybe 10 seconds after I turned off that last clip with that button looking thing. Started raking out this corner. I'm gonna have to cave some of this down. And I got a marble right here. Oh my, this is another good one. I can tell before I even clean it. To re oh, folks, look at this. Let me get this cleaned off. This is ridiculous. Later. Well, this is definitely two colors, white with lime green. And I don't know what to call that. It's pretty nice there. And you can see there's all kinds of little baby doll legs and stuff in here there's all kinds of little smalls it down in this stuff this loose stuff you can see i cut some of this down see all this loose trash hanging up in here i had a bunch of stuff fall down and i saw this fall down live like right there is i think a peewee marble i can't tell it's right here let me get it wiped off. It looks like a solid green. It's got clear base and it's got these like Connell looking things at the end. Look at it on both ends. A clear spot looking into the window and these look like Ponnels to me. Oh. I found another one like this in here. It looks like an eyeball. And look at that veneer on it. That looks like it'll fluoresce. Look at that on that side. That's a real nice condition. It's like a thin veneer over a clear maybe green marble like coke bottle glass that's nice nice condition later I mean, we find this enamelware stuff that's nice enough to take it's like an enamelware pot I always dump that stuff out kind of look to it man can you imagine if I dumped that out and it was just marbles everywhere yeah it would have had a lid on it that can be cleaned up that's nice I'll take that not bad not bad that's you know that's a cool piece i mean that can be cleaned up to look new and all the enamels on it that's a good find come from right in that hole i'm gonna keep looking there's some older stuff here but this is a crazy place i'm finding no deposit bottles bottles up into the 60s and then the dumps about right there or the bottom of the dumps right in there but in the, the old stuff's right on the bottom and the marble seem to be following the bottom the good ones anyway there's marble kings up in this stuff see there's a can a pool tab right there well that's just the top can't see what that was but look at all these bottles holy smokes later probably that noxema stuff no it's not i don't think it is yeah it's noxema but i see a marble it's right 
here I'm gonna try to find like one more thing and then I'm gonna cut this off if you've even there's I've put on plenty of oh yeah oh man that's no cat eye it's like one of them other ones if anybody knows what these are chime in I think they might be peltiers oh man we will just maybe cut it off on this and I'll do some research on these I'll see but there ain't gonna be much more to it make sure you subscribe um, I've got some monster finds today these German handmade marbles are insane there's just marbles everywhere back in here down on the base of the dump look at that what the heck is that a German wire pool I don't know but that's beautiful look at it um if anybody knows put it in the description i'll try to do some research i'll wipe it off here and just hold on yeah this is something i haven't found much of whatever it is um there's stuff of all ages in here because i'm on a hill you can see there's pool tab cans up there and then there's down on the base of the dump that um enamelware thing came right off the base clay and then there's like i don't know a two or three foot layer of burnt trash above it not all of it's burnt but some of it is but that's just absolutely beautiful look at that it's not a cat eye it's just got wisps of color through it I'm not sure if that's peltier or what but it's nice just rake that out that's a woman's compact but it's got a crack on the other side I'd probably take it if it wasn't for that see it's got a mirror in it it's old makeup that's pretty it's like right in here right there yeah that's a solid green one it's like cake bottle glass but it's nice oh it's not nice it's got a divot on it there uh, yeah it's the way it goes some of them are going to be damaged right back i was raking out that stuff right after i found that clear one with the neck on it Right back here, but I, uh, that's just paper. I see something awesome. Well, what's that? That's a bone. But I, right here, what's this? It's a vitro agate. Man, it's a nice one. Look at that blended area right there. It's got rust staining on it, but that'll all come off. That's a beauty. That's definitely a vitro. Um, but man, I don't have one with that on it. Looks like wood green on that too, and it's got like, I don't know, that's like beige with brown and purple. Man. Color changes and that divots in the ground, that's the bottom of the dump. A strap sided beautiful blue bottle look at it it's screw top but I'd say this is from around World War two right after um, that's where the more the oldest best marbles are coming from right off that base clay that's pretty nice later you know I just raked this off right beside that blue bottle you can see the divot it was in right on the base clay still got the get the cap on it. Let me open this live so in case there's something in it. Nah, it's just got like dirt in it. But I'm taking the jar. It's an Atlas Strong Shouldered Mason. Um, right off the bottom of the dump. Just laying down. I see another marble back here. There's another one right here. Let's look real good. I just had a cave in. They're going that way up the hill. I don't see any more right here, but we're gonna rake back see that. There's gotta be more of them right here in the ground. Let's see what we got. Oh, that looks nice. That looks like a cat eye, but that other one's something cool. Hold on. Well, that's some kind of cat eye and it's nice. Look at the condition, but look at this. Oh, folks, these look like peltiers. Um, that's nuts. That's baby blue base. That's just a beautiful marble. So's that orange one I found, too. Man, folks, 
man later i got another marble here i'm just right down on my hands and knees raking looking at this stuff just meticulously because there's so many nice marbles in here but do you see it i don't have any idea what it is let's see it looks like a solid blue one but i can't tell hold on it is a solid blue one but it's nice condition it's a pretty marble Later. I see another marble. I'm pretty sure this is a marble king. I found blue ones over in this section yesterday. Yeah, you've seen me find these just consistently. It's a common marble king marble, but see it's this one has the navy with the baby and that's the baby blue strip and that's not quite as common. They're usually just that dark blue, but that's pretty. It's got rust staining all over, but that'll clean up. The marble's in real nice condition. Later. Another marble. It looks solid color. It's like pop bottle blue glass, like ball blue mason. Hold on, I'll clean it off. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a real nice condition, you can see. It's got bubbles in it. Um, I'm just finding them consistently. There's marbles everywhere in here. And some good ones. I'm gonna get back over this way. This is where some of the good ones seemed. And you know, there won't be, I'll cut this off on here in just a minute. It came right off the bottom of the dump. Huh. The heck is this? That's a pretty one. It's some kind of swirl with orange on it. Hold on. Well, it's real nice condition. And it's got that orange patch on it. I don't know what to call this. It's some kind of machine made marble. But it's nice. It's cool. Good fun. Let all right, raking up the pile that I had back in there. I saw one I missed, see if you see it. It's kind of hard to see, but I take my time and look through this stuff twice, and this is one I missed initially. I don't know what this is. It looks like a cat eye, maybe. Oh, it's one of the, it's another one of these. These might be pelty or cat eyes, but I'm not sure. See, they're way different than other. They just got streams of color through them. These are beautiful. I don't have any of these either. I do now. Look at it. That's awesome. Let me wipe it off and I'll show you. Yeah, these things are beautiful. They get them strips of color just kind of suspended in the marble. That's nice. Well, anyway, um, I'll get back. I mean, I've never seen this. I think it's Y-N-I-E maybe. And look, it's got like a dwarf on it, like a Disney character, and it's a soda. Can't hardly, I think it's the seven up. It says the property seven something. Taste the difference. Man, I'd have liked to had that. Look at that embossing or ACL. It's like a Disney character, a little dwarf or something. Later. Be something good. I got it way up under this tree root following. You can see I'm following the base clay. You can start to see the stuff on it right in there. It just looks pretty good after I pick it up. It's got, oh, look at that. I think this is, these are peltiers. Let me get this cleaned off. This is awesome. It's a green, kind of a green base with, oh, this looks amazing, folks. Hold on. Yeah. Like a green base. It's got a big bubble right in the middle of it. And like a lot, baby blue lines on it. What a beautiful marble. And it looks peltier looking at it from the side like that. Like some of the peltier solid color ones, but this one's like a clear, maybe it's called a peltier cat eye, I don't know. But that is excellent. Just an excellent find. Look at it. Oh, man, I'm on fire this week. Well, there's another find. I already wiped this one off. I saw what it was. It's just a blue cat eye, but I guess it's got darker blue with baby blue so it ain't bad and you can see it's real nice condition real beautiful marble something that looks awesome look at this whoa you hear that crack you hear that crack man 
and that buckled that whole hillside buckled right there I have to move out of here. I mean, I got a nice marble, but a bunch of marbles are falling down in there right now. Oh man, folks. Oh man. That's a beauty. Man, that's making me nervous. Huh. Let me get this wiped off. Hold on. Well, this is another insane one. It's just absolutely awesome. That's still cracking. That tree's gonna fall later. This is the second one of these big blue strap sided blue bottles. Those are nice. Watches have you seen me find? That's what that is, is a pocket watch. That's an old one. All the guts are out of it. They all take it to put it in my pocket watch container. I don't think it has nothing on it, but it might. Might have something on it. It kind of looks like it might say something or something. Can't tell. Well, anyway, later. Oh, look at the air. That's the other piece to the pocket watch. Man, there's some older stuff back in here. That's a two-piece button, but it's cracked up. It's something old. You can see it's a two-piece button. But right there is the cover to that pocket watch. Unbelievable. That's it. That fits. That fits that. Right there. It's like right there. See what we got. Oh, man. It's another one of these crazy ones. See? I think these are peltier cat eyes, maybe. I'm not sure, but look at that. And you see, I had cave-ins here. I, I, but this, this is good, because I can dig in behind this and this tree will fall. It's dead anyway. You see all the dead stuff decaying. Oh, that's a good one to stop on. Um, I'll be back here, so make sure you subscribe. Later.